Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. James Corden's U.S. visit included a stop at Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's home. On Tuesday, the 44-year-old actor and comedian dropped by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's home in Montecito, California, according to the Daily Mail. Corden recently took his final bow as host of The Late Late Show with James Corden in April and relocated to the UK with his wife and kids. According to Hello! magazine, Corden and his family traveled stateside during his children's school break. Prince Harry, 38, and Meghan, 41, were most recently seen at the Miss Foundation 2023 Women of Vision Awards in New York City on May 16, where the Duchess of Sussex was honored for her global advocacy to empower women and girls. She brought her husband and mom, Doria Ragland, as her surprise guests. The next day, a spokesperson for the couple said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and Doria were trailed by paparazzi following the event in a near-catastrophic car chase. Prince Harry and Meghan have maintained a low profile since. Corden and his wife, Julia, have known Harry and Meghan for years and attended their royal wedding in May 2018. The host and actor memorably introduced Harry to California in a segment for The Late Late Show that aired in February 2021 where they drove around Hollywood on a double-decker bus. After sharing tea on the open-topped bus, with the trolley almost taking a tumble en route, they stopped off at the original home used in the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Nodding to Corden's popular carpool karaoke skits, he asked Prince Harry if he recalled the rap, who performed a brief version of the well-known theme song. Last May, Corden spoke about his friendship with the Sussexes in conversation with the son, revealing that he and his family had been to Harry and Meghan's Montecito home. Elsewhere in the interview, Corden praised his friends. Look, I'm a huge fan of both of them, he said of Harry and Meghan. Obviously, I know Harry better than I know Meghan, but I think it's really hard to judge or be judgmental. The comedian said that he had a huge amount of respect and admiration for Harry, and anyone who has been around him and spent time with him would feel exactly the same way. In an exclusive interview with PUPL before his last day on The Late Late Show, Corden opened up about his and his wife's decision to move their three children, son Max, 12, and daughters Carrie, 8, and Charlotte, 5, back to England as he signed off from his talk show duties. He also got sentimental about some of his favorite memories on the show. It's so great to have had this ride, he told POPL last month. I hope people saw the joy in it and the love that we put into it, that we were a show that took big swings. Jumping out of a plane with Tom Cruise and flying in fighter jets and singing with Paul McCartney around Liverpool and all those things. I hope that people will see that we made a show that we all really, really, really cared about. So what do you think about this news, guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.